Hello, in this video, we're going to find the limit as x approaches infinity of two minus x squared, all divided by x squared plus x minus one. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. So in problems like this, whenever the degree matches, here the degree is two and here the degree is two, the answer is always going to be the ratio of the leading coefficients. The leading coefficient in the numerator is the number in front of the term of highest degree. So it's negative one. This is negative one over, and then in the denominator, the leading coefficient is one. It's negative one over one, which is just negative one. And that's going to be the answer. However, you can show the work in problems like this. So let me show you how. So this is the limit as x approaches infinity. And I'm gonna start by putting the negative x squared first. It's not necessary, but it makes it look better. This is negative x squared plus two. All of this is divided by x squared plus x, and then minus one. And so now what you can do is basically multiply by one in a clever way. We're gonna multiply by one over x squared over and then one over x squared. And now we can take this one over x squared and distribute it. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity. So one over x squared times negative x squared is gonna give us negative x squared over x squared. And then plus two times one over x squared will give us two over x squared. All of this is being divided by so x squared times one over x squared will give us x squared over x squared, plus x times one over x squared will give us x over x squared. And then minus one times one over x squared is minus one over x squared. This is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity. These cancel, so we get negative one plus two over x squared. And in the denominator, we have one plus, right, because these cancel, and then x over x squared is one over x, and then minus one over x squared. Then as x gets really, 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 really big, two over x squared approaches zero, so this is negative one plus zero. And then on the bottom, we just get one, and these other two terms also approach zero, so plus zero minus zero. So you just get negative one over one, which is negative one, which is the answer we got at the beginning by simply looking at the ratio of the leading coefficients. Hopefully you learned some math in this video. If you have, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, good luck and take care.